just always has been that kind of a person. He never, even when I was little and I never thought about it, I come home and he didn't go to school. I mean, if he didn't want to go to school, he didn't go to school. And my mom would drive me a sleigh and go to school and he'd be home or out playing the drums someplace. He just did what he wanted to do. I don't think he did it because he was mean or defiant or anything. I just think that's who he was. So it was just all about him. If he borrowed your car, drove your car, I know of at least six cars he just parked and walked away from. And I'm not talking about motors or transmissions. I'm talking running out of gas or a flat tire. He'd just pull over and leave and they'd get tagged. He'd just hitchhike to somebody's house. And that was it. So he's always, always, ever since he was little, been like this, just gone. But for somebody that lived his whole life, for the fans and all these people, look who's here, family. So... I guess that's the only people you can really depend on in the end. 90% uh, of the time, we all have to do what we don't want to do. You got responsibilities, you got family, work, friends. Or you do stuff for your family that you don't really want to do, but you do it because it's the right thing to do. <laughs> I just hit him. <laughs> but it makes you a better person. There'll be more than 12 people at your funeral. <laughs> But, 13. I'm not going. Yeah. <laughs> Two. I'm bringing a date. <laughs> <laughs> I will haunt you, bitch. <laughs> Backwards. Sorry. He did 95% of the time exactly all that he, what he wanted to do, and I don't even think he got in his 5% of what he should do. And he just would show up like, really, I was thinking about this a lot, like every 20 years. He, he left. I can't believe he left this early, but he did because I got married at 19, and he was at our wedding. 16 years old, he got a 10-piece orchestra for free. 